channel that I'm planning on starting, uh, just kind of being about fish, fishy stuff. And uh, today I'm just going to start out kind of by showing, I've got a bunch of tanks, but I'm probably just going to do just this tank today. I'm um, starting out with this one. I guess it's kind of one of my favorite tanks. Uh, it doesn't look the best right now, honestly. It's looked a lot better in past times that I had it. Um, I know that there, you can't really see any fish in there right now. There is one fish in there um, who's lived in here a long time. I know that a lot of you are probably going to uh, say a bunch of hateful things about it because it's a single quarry cat, which I know that they're supposed to be in groups, and this is too small of a tank for them. Um, I put them in here originally because I was having problems with there being a bunch of like mom on the bottom and stuff, and I thought that maybe he would help clean it up, uh, which it seems like he did. Uh, I've just been, you know, I haven't had the availability to buy more quarry cats yet, and um, Plus, I've got a lot of tanks with materials that aren't necessarily good for their uh, whiskers that they have that um, supposedly is kind of rough on them. I have some Eco Complete that I just put in some of my tanks that I don't want him to get all cut up on, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do at the moment with getting him moved to a bigger tank. I definitely want to, um, but it's just something I'm going to have to play on. Uh, so, this is a 2.5 gallon tank. And I just have, for setup on it, a sponge filter going in the back. Um, there's another piece of a sponge filter that's just leaning up over there because uh, it was an old one that I took out because it was just too big for this tank. Um, you can't really see that one, but it's one that you sit on the bottom. It's kind of a little bit taller. Um, can't remember the name of it. It was just some kind of like Japanese brand. I don't have the box anywhere close that I can show you. Uh, but yeah, I just cleaned this tank not too long ago, and it seems like after I clean it, I don't know why, but the poop just like accumulates down here, so it's it's not looking the best. I mean, there's a lot of snails in here that contribute to that, so that doesn't really help. I have this random Anubias plant that's just floating up here, and one that's planted down there. That one was planted down here beside this uh, pot, but you know, trying not to cover up the rhizome and stuff. It doesn't stay planted very well and I didn't have any super glue to put it on anything so it's just gonna hang out. And there's also some Brazilian pennywort in here which has some like pinholes and stuff in it, it looks like so there's probably some kind of nutrition defic deficiency um, this is one of the tanks that I've kind of been considering changing the substrate out. I've been having plants for a while, but this is just pool filter sand that's in here. And it's not, of course, as a lot of people know, nutritional for the plants, even though the uh, Brazilian pennywort is probably more of a water column feeder. So it definitely means that there's just something not very nutritious in the water. Uh, to me, it looked like there was maybe a magnesium deficiency with how the veins are showing up darker in the leaves a little bit, um, which is probably hard to tell in this video. So I put in just a little bit of Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate, thinking maybe that would help. Uh, there's my quarry cat, Poe, coming out. He likes to hide out in the back. Um... And there's some kind of like cardinal Renecki plant in here. It's kind of leggy. I kind of like it when it's more bushy looking, but I don't trim it very often. And then there's just some dragon stone in here. Uh, and then I just like, seriously, that thing in the background is not a real background. I... Printer paper worked pretty perfect for this tank, so I seriously just printed it out on my printer and then put it back there. And it looks okay. I don't know. I'm kind of weird, because I almost kind of like tanks that just don't even have a background on them. And it's just clear and see-through. I don't know why, I just kind of do. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is pretty much my tank. 
I don't know what I'm planning on doing with it in the future. I've thought of, about a couple different things, you know, putting some uh, African dwarf frogs in this tank or some ghost shrimp in the tank. Um, I actually got some Emperor Tetras quite a while ago uh, that I bought, and they accidentally gave me one single chili rasbora. And so he was lonely for a while, and I finally bought him some friends. But they are such small fish that I worry that they're going to get sucked up in my other filters of my bigger tanks. So I have things covering the inlets of those things, which really, in not very long of a time, clogs up your filter and makes it run really slowly. So I don't like that, and I'm planning on probably putting those tiny fish in this tank. But... African door frogs and ghost shrimp, I don't know if they're going to be the best companions for those smaller fish because the frogs can eat them, I'm sure, so I don't want to put them in there. And I've heard some mixed stories about the uh, ghost shrimp. Um, I think Master Aquatic said something about him, them eating his angelfish fry and you know I don't know how true that is but it kind of scares me I like shrimp and everything but I don't want them to attack my little tiny fish so I don't really know um, it might just be those tiny fish going in here and maybe some other small species of fish I don't know yet but I love this tank it's cute um, it's really tiny. I have like other tanks, like a Picotope tank. Um, but for some reason I like this tank better. It's really weird, because you'd think that I'd like the one that's got a little bit more curved edges and stuff, but this one just looks like a standard tank. It's just miniature, and so I love it. I don't know why. Oh, and another thing to mention about the setup of this tank is the light I'm running on it is just a Phoenix Stingray Clip-On Light, and it's done a really good job of growing the plants, actually. Um, when I first set this tank up, it did a really, really good job. Uh, I think that right now, it's just not doing as well, because, I mean, it's lacking some deficiencies and stuff, and it probably, and the substrate's not the greatest. Um, I have been dosing a little bit. I'll admit, I'm not the best with dosing the stuff, because I get a little slackerish, and don't keep up with it as much as I really probably should. But I made a DIY one that I followed off of YouTube and I can't really tell what the difference is that it's made that much yet. Probably because I'm not using it as much as I should. And Poe is just staring at me like get that camera off my tank you weird person. But he's cute. He's a little skittish. But he's cute. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I'll hopefully get back to you with my other videos of my other tanks. Um, and have a good day.